my name is Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic and today we're going to talk about the compatibility between a Virgo and an Aries Taurus cusp. As a couple, you naturally have a system and you both know what your roles are in the relationship. It's very organized. You both are home buddies. Playing house with each other comes naturally here. You both are go-getters. And so as long as you know what you're aiming for, you can achieve anything together. If there is something you both need, then there is no hesitation in figuring out how to get it. Just remember that while your needs are very powerful, important people also have wants and desires. Do not take theirs for granted, okay? Now this may not always be convenient for you and it can be hard for you to recognize that you're not the only one with necessities. When you and your Virgo clash, it can be very difficult. You need to try to work through your tensions. I don't even know why I have to tell you this. And you need to not let them put you in a rut. You have to learn to meet them halfway. And you both have to put an equal amount of effort and energy into the relationship. Sometimes it can feel tricky. Virgo sometimes has a difficulty in this relationship because they can feel stuck. They ground the relationship, but they don't propel it forward easily. This is a very mature relationship and you both act like adults in it. Your household is your sanctuary and that is very important for you both because you both have intimate bonds. And let's face it, it's something that the rest of the world probably will never fully understand. Your alone time together is very important. This is a very ambitious couple. When you are dating, it's usually very difficult to feel at ease in a large crowd. You don't feel motivated to put a lot of time and effort into helping a bunch of people. You would rather just help your Virgo, right? But you can lend a hand and still be part of something bigger than yourself while you're dating a Virgo. While you can value your need for peace and quiet, you can forget that sometimes other people value it just as much as you do. You need to allow others the same amount of privacy that you require. Your morals will come in handy when it comes to steering the relationship in the right direction. Your love is about something bigger than you both. Your moral compass revolves around what pleases your Virgo. It should be about what is fair and what is best for everyone, right? Spending too much time when you're together can be a problem. Even if you weren't planning to spend that much time with your Virgo, somehow you often leave your date with your Virgo feeling like you may have taken it too far. Just to be careful not to run into any financial issues throughout your relationship because it's very common. This isn't a silly match. Your love is the real deal and you don't take it lightly. Your relationship is not a game. You will really love living with your Virgo. It just feels like a very laid back environment. One that you don't really worry about everything in. Your household is very like low maintenance. However, there is a very pragmatic vibe surrounding your relationship. Being productive and level headed comes easily. Common sense and like what works can become the driving force of your relationship. And money, can be very central to your relationship too. There's a very materialistic side to this couple, right? What you have with each other is very serious and sometimes you can forget to be flexible and the seriousness can be kind of harsh, unfortunately. It might really cause your Virgo to butt heads with you. Remember to pick your battles. And never forget the power of positivity. You both have the tendency to be bogged down by your pessimism. I mean, things can feel like a bummer sometimes, right? Mwah, mwah. 
but if you are able to manage the gloom, then things should be just fine. Instead of getting off work and venting about how bad your day was and all the terrible things that happened, always spice it up with some positivity and some gratitude and some compliments. I like to use the sandwich method, you know, where you say like one nice thing, then you complain and then you say one nice thing, you know, and you sandwich it together. Very shifty. It's good to do what's best for you, but you need to remind yourself not to take self-serving behavior too far. Try to set yourself some boundaries. Boundaries, woo -hoo -hoo. You need to be able to watch out for times when you both feel stuck and you feel like your relationship isn't getting anywhere. If you can recognize when that's happening, then you would have a much stronger chance of working out in the long run. Romantic flings and affairs with a Virgo might be kind of boring to you. You don't really fall for each other because of how romantic things are. It's more usually because you feel secure with each other and you support each other. This is a safe and cozy bond, not necessarily like a wild and playful match. You and your Virgo love living together because you're really able to de-stress and chill together. This is not like a deeply feeling couple. While you love each other, it isn't extremely emotionally driven, you know? Of course there is some of that, but it's still limited. Like if you compare it to other relationships in the Zodiac, it's nowhere near as emotionally driven. You have to avoid being rigid and strict. This is a big deal. You have to be open-minded if you want to work out. You must find harmony. Now keeping the peaceful vibe doesn't mean you have to avoid the fun vibe, right? You can have both. You just gotta find your middle ground. You both understand that success should be earned. And you have to work hard to get what you want. You earn each other's trust by going through the hard times and making it on top. You will think more highly of each other. The more you go through the pain, you suffer, the more you trust each other. If one of you has a lot of money because they were sort of given the money, like they actually didn't work for it, then the other probably won't think as highly of them. You both need to know the value of working your ass off. Now as you go making more money as a couple, you both might really share a value for luxury and nice things. Just be careful how much you spend, all right? Spending habits can be a problem for this couple. A marriage with your Virgo would probably be very stable and balanced. The fact that after like a long day of work, you can just sit back and relax together and have your peace and quiet is very appealing to you both. It's very common for this couple to leave all their problems at the door when they enter it. Like they don't really focus on work when they're trying to relax. They sort of separate the two worlds both you and your Virgo can be very self-centered. When you date, you sort of become more of a self-serving couple. Before meeting you, your Virgo probably wouldn't be much of a go-getter. But when they meet you, they usually get very inspired and they usually end up changing into someone that is much more of a doer. You're much more of an action taker than they are and they can come close to like being your equal the more you date, right? Once you start dating for a while, then they sort of meet your level. They say to surround yourself with people who inspire you. And for a Virgo, this is very important. Dating you will really motivate them. As a married couple, it is not uncommon for you both to incorporate other couples into your sex life. This couple can be very experimental in the bedroom. They like to try new things. This is the kind of couple that you would find in a swingers group. <laughs> and hey, if you haven't tried it already and you both have been dating and you want to spice up your sex life, maybe consider adding another couple or adding more people, having an orgy, I don't fucking know. 
group sex might be an excellent choice for this match. You both really need to spice things up in the bedroom on a regular basis. Now, you both may lack compassion towards one another at times, which can make it really hard to be in a relationship with each other, right? Because you kind of need that compassion, that sympathy. Emotions may not be the easiest to sort through. And neither one of you might spend a lot of time, you know, thinking them through. They aren't there at all when you both first meet. Then it's going to be very, very difficult to make this work because you can't just like make them grow out of nowhere. It's going to be really hard to date each other and then like not have feelings and then just like make them grow and make more feelings, right? However, in the bedroom, you both are extremely happy together usually, very sexually compatible, okay? And you go on some very wild adventures. So if you're not going on these crazy adventures right now and you are, you know, getting down and dirty with your Virgo, then you should try it. Like, you guys are meant to go on wild adventures in the bedroom. It's so easy for you both as a couple to be strong and to be headed in the right direction. There is a system when you're married that actually just falls into place. When you both live together, it's actually very organized without sort of needing to stumble too much over things, you know? Neither one of you are afraid to make an effort. Like I said, you both have a very strong sexual connection. Your bodies mesh very well together. <laughs> you both are survivors. Now, sometimes destiny tends to bring this couple together, like this match, after you both have already been through some very tough times. But they've only made you both stronger. And when you meet each other as equals and you're both on the same wavelength, you understand each other and you have respect for each other because of that. Like, you know what they've been through, you know that they've had a rough time and you sort of relate to that and you like respect them for being a survivor, if that makes any sense. Before meeting you, your Virgo probably had a lot of things that they wanna try, things that they wanted to do but they never really took that step forward and you give them the knowledge that they need when they date you. Your career is usually very important to you and you inspire them to work on themselves and to boost their stamina. Virgo just can't sit on the sidelines when they date you. Your bedroom escapades can be very strange. Hey, no judgment here. You make very eccentric sexual partners. I think it's fucking awesome, so no judgment. Sometimes your sexual style can be a little kinky. You may be the type of couple to go to like sex dungeons or like be really into bondage. As a couple, your sexual nature is very open and you both are always willing to try new things and check things out and really explore everything without any judgment. The bedroom is a very non-judgmental place for you both. While you both are survivors and you respect each other and you understand each other's needs, one obstacle you might face when you are trying to be a married couple, it's that you don't fully understand what you each have been through, even if you respect it and you can never fully put yourselves in each other's shoes. Now that can make it really difficult to connect as a married couple. Values and your moral code really come into play in your marriage. And you're both very serious about them. Very. And sometimes you will make such an effort to keep them intact that it stops you from thinking outside the box and using your imagination. And you can put a damper on things if you're not careful. When you both start dating each other and things are getting really serious and you can really feel the love blossoming, you both usually move in together. It's just pretty intuitive for you. Neither one of you likes being on your own as much and they are the perfect person to share a home with. 
and it just comes naturally. While you both have your own habits, you never really liked being by yourself in your own home. And you find so much joy in sharing a home together. This is the kind of couple that will buy a house and easily make things work. When things stop working out and they're not working out anymore, then you know it because the arguments you have aren't petty. They aren't really about the little things. Your relationship becomes a war zone and you both just have a very hard time agreeing on things. You might often have to have like a friend be the mediator between the two of you just to settle your problems because it's extremely hard for you to get better. It's extremely hard for you to work through things once you get to that point. When it's at that point, there is so much rage in the household. It's like someone flipped a switch and suddenly everything is angry and you both are very tense. Another obstacle is when you have children. And while the order and organization of your household might work for the both of you, it may feel very rigid and unsustainable for the people who live with you that aren't you both, right? They might see you both as very controlling and strict. You and your Virgo could be awesome friends. Often your Virgo is much more of a traditionalist than you are, but at the same time they may be sort of critical or cynical. They might look like a conventional person, but be a rebel. When you first date them, you might find that their inner rebel shines more brightly. Now, it depends on their chart though. As a friend, a Virgo might really look up to you. Your Virgo has this witty sense of humor that can seem like they're trying to be funny, but it kind of falls flat. And you find this very endearing. You both joke around about things that other people might not really get, but what matters is that you both can laugh about it. When things are no longer working and you start fighting, it becomes a constant battle zone. It often starts when you get tired of not being able to compromise. This might lead to a power struggle. This may not have been a huge issue before, but if the relationship becomes more one-sided, then it can become like a really big problem. It's not something you can just come back from. And often the relationship is already over when the battle begins. On the plus side, your bond is extremely mature most of the time. Another plus side is that if things don't work out, even after things are over, you and your Virgo usually stay friends. A lot of exes aren't like that, but sometimes it works out and in your relationship, Virgos and you might be able to really get along afterwards. Even if things were messy, obviously give it some time, but you know. Obviously things have to settle down first. Now, depending on their chart, your Virgo might feel like you are spoiled or stuck up and they may feel frustrated by your attitudes at times, especially if you have privilege that they don't have. Whether it's your race or your family just comes from money or you never really had to struggle at all growing up, your Virgo might be very opinionated. They have like this very strong sense of right and wrong and it can cause tension if they feel like there is an injustice. But obviously, like I said, this really depends on the rest of the Virgo's chart. This can be a brutal and dictatorial relationship at its worst times. You tend to fall for the underdogs and the outcasts and that might be what attracts you to your Virgo. They're different. They intrigue you. They entice you with their odd and mysterious ways. You can't help but find them charming. As a friend, your Virgo will really appreciate how you go for what you want and how you get results. They also like how level-headed you are when you make a decision. They really admire that. This can be a very solid and stable match. This is a cozy couple. As a couple, you both really value your privacy. 
And most of the time, you both make this work. You both figure it out. At its worst, this relationship can feel like a big mistake when it's falling apart. It can be really annoying during the tough times. As friends, you would really appreciate how practical your Virgo is and how sensitive they are to injustice. You inspire each other. You put each other at ease. Like things are very straightforward with your Virgo. There are no hidden meanings. You know what to expect. No beating around the bush. Don't let rigidity hinder your love. Don't be too critical of each other. Be more giving and avoid being selfish. Marriage really does have a shot. Things are exciting. Don't forget to enjoy it. Act with dignity towards each other. And avoid trying to one-up each other. Try to be compassionate towards your Virgo. Strengthen your devotion towards each other and try not to take your fights too far. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you were born on the cusp of Aries and Taurus or if you are a Virgo, please comment below and let me know what you think. Did you agree with this? Would you like to share your story? I want to know. I love 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 when you guys comment and I do my best to get back to you. Right now I'm in the process of moving and so I have a lot on my plate. If you ever move, have moved before, it's like a lot. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I have my curtain behind me instead of the wall because we painted the wall and it's like, yeah, anyway. Subscribe to my channel. I'm really excited that we're on to Virgos now. I know a lot of you have been waiting for Virgos. I'm excited about Virgos because I am dating a Virgo and I cannot wait to talk about that relationship. I like, he, he was in the background just like, okay, bye.